guys and welcome to Escape Wheel Watch Reviews. My name is Steve and today we're going to be reviewing the Undone Sport Speedy. I received this watch for free from the guys at Undone. They reached out to me asking me if I wanted to customize my own watch. I said heck yeah and here we are today. I don't have to send the watch back. It's mine to keep but that won't sway my review one way or another. And if by the end of this review you want to pick one of these up or check out their site. I'll be leaving that link down in the video description. Um, yeah, you can go over there, check out their site. You can customize a whole bunch of watches. And it's really actually a very nice website. And um, yeah, the whole process is super smooth. The retail price for this model, it starts at 285 US dollars. That's before any taxes, sales, or coupons, or anything like that. Um, that does include FedEx delivery, and the price can go up depending on your customizations. It doesn't have to go up, but it can if you choose certain customization options. So the nice thing about Undone is, like I said, the customization. You can choose uh, the different dials on this thing. You can choose a different bezel style, uh, different bezel colors, case finishings. Um, you can change the handset, the main handset here. You can change the color of that. You can change the seconds hand and choose between two different styles. Uh, you can go with a closed case back or a display case back, and then you can also put a picture on that as well. So there's tons of options. You also have a bunch of different strap options too. So um, yeah, you can customize your watch however you want. Uh, you can put some text up here if you want to. You can leave it blank. Um, it doesn't matter. You can do almost anything that you want to. On this specific model, you can change a whole bunch of options, and that's really cool. The watch case is made of 316L stainless steel. It has a mineral crystal, a push-pull crown, a snap-on case back, 30 meters of claimed water resistance, and the watch is powered by the Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz. So I've been a big fan of Undone watches for a few years now. These were high on my writer uh, back before I started my channel, but I never really pulled the trigger. So when they asked me if I wanted to build one, um, I jumped at the opportunity. The process was smooth. The watch turned out exactly how I expected. it. The site, the team, the shipping, it's all excellent. But what do I think about the actual watch itself? I say we dig in and find out. Before we do, doing a quick wrist check for the day. Wearing my St. Martin SN0121 on a 5-link Jubilee. Um, yeah, really, I just got this, this bracelet and love it. Uh, looks really good on this model, in my opinion, at least. All right, first things first, we'll start with the dimensions. A case diameter of 40 millimeters, thickness of 12.8 millimeters, 20 millimeter lug width, lug tip to lug tip of 47.6 millimeters, and on the supplied rally strap, weighs 59 grams. So I think the size is pretty nice, 40 millimeters. I really do wish this was a little bit smaller. Uh, if it was a 38, maybe a 39, I think it would uh, be a little bit better, uh, for me at least. You know, I, I know I'm not everybody, but 40 millimeters by 47 and a half, Good thickness as well. That does include the box crystal there. Um, so yeah, I think it wears really nice. It's super comfortable, super lightweight. Um, yeah, I do like the way this thing wears. So I'm going to go outside right now and throw it on my wrist for you. And here we are on my seven and a half inch wrist. And as you can see, it fits my wrist just fine. Maybe a little bit big for my personal preferences, but I tend to like my watches a little small. So if you guys like them, I mean, this is it's a classic, classic size. So. Uh, there's no way you can really go wrong with the size, and that's why they chose it. Uh, you can see there, you got nice turn down to the lugs as well. So this does hug the wrist nicely. It's really nice and soft on the wrist too, so very, very comfortable. I can wear this thing all day long. The strap is fantastic. We'll talk about that in a little bit. I think it looks really good on it too. So uh, yeah, really, really happy with this watch and all the light play off the bezel and the, the crystal. Uh, I think it just looks fantastic getting out from underneath that tree and in some direct sunlight here you can see no ar coating but it doesn't need it these mineral crystals they're excellent uh, the dial texture and pattern looks really cool out here as well um, yeah i do like the way this thing looks i like the way this thing wears like i said it's super super comfortable um, yeah it, it's really nice very very happy with it let's go throw it on some straps and we can get back to this review yeah, here we are on a mesh strap. I actually think that looks pretty good. Uh, not an option from Undone, but maybe after seeing this, they should add one because I think that actually looks pretty darn good. What do you guys think about that one? Yeah, here we are on kind of a vintage black leather strap. I'll leave the link down below for this one. Um, yeah, I think that actually looks pretty good. The, the tan stitching kind of goes with the, the patina on the dial. It looks pretty good. What do you guys think of that? Probably not my favorite though. 
Hey, here we are on a purline strap. You get one layer underneath the watch, really nice and thin, so it's still sitting nice. Uh, at one point, they did have purlines as an option. They don't have them anymore, I don't think, but um, yeah, I do think it looks pretty good. This is kind of a dark green one, so looks good. And lastly, here we are on a nylon strap. We've got two layers underneath the watch there. Still sitting very nicely. No clearance issues or anything like that. So, yeah, you can go crazy with the straps on this watch. It's going to look good on pretty much anything. And I think this is no exception. I think that looks excellent. All right, let's go inside and let's get back to this review. All right, so let's get to the case finishing. Uh, case finishing is a mixture of brushed and polished surfaces. You can see here, I opted for the stepped bezel. You can get this with a tachymeter bezel. I believe that tachymeter bezel has a circular brushing around the top with uh, paint-filled indices or markings. Uh, this one, just a simple stepped bezel, as you can see there, and it's fully polished. I think they did a really nice job on it. I like the step. It kind of breaks up the case a little bit from the front, uh, and I think it looks really good, really nice, and really clean, and it integrates very nicely with that crystal, which we'll talk about here in just a moment. Um, but yeah, the tops of the lugs here, they are fully polished, as you can see here. Really nicely done. Uh, working our way to the mid case here, you have a, a vertical brushing all along this. I'm not usually a fan of vertical brushings, but it's so thin on this case that it doesn't bother me at all. And I think the brushing is done very nicely. So um, yeah, pretty satisfied with that. The lugs, they do have a little chamfer on them as well. It's a nice soft chamfer, uh, but you can see the transition there from the polish to the brush surface. There's, uh, it's nice and sharp, so I got zero complaints with that. Uh, overall, I think it does look pretty nice. You get some nice turn down to the lugs there. They kind of have these weird little hooks on them, uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. Flipping it to the crown side here, you got simple polished pushers there for the chronograph functions. Then you do have an undone signed crown, which is nice. Uh, really cool onion style crown. Uh, very happy with that. I think it's a good size. I think the logo looks good. The engraving is nicely done. Um, yeah, very satisfied with that. Flipping it to the case back here, just a snap on case back with a spec sheet around the outside. Uh, this is just a mineral crystal here. And then you can get it with nothing on it, or you can pay a little bit extra and get your um, get whatever picture you want on this thing. So you, they do have full color pictures, which is pretty cool. And that's, uh, I'm guessing that's just a sticker, but it's applied on the inside. Uh, so it's not going to scratch off or anything like that. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but um, it is underneath my fingernail there, sir. So uh, yeah, pretty nicely done getting up close. You can see the, the quality of the print is there. Um, it looks pretty good in my opinion. Um, so yeah, really interesting. I like that they do that. Pretty cool to have my logo on the back of this watch. It's not a watch that I'm ever going to be able to sell, and that's okay because I really like the watch. All right, let's talk about the crystal on this thing. So the crystal is a mineral crystal, not a huge deal to me personally. Uh, if you're going to be wearing this thing every single day, that might be a bigger issue. But for me, being part of a big collection, uh, not a problem at all. And I like the benefits of a mineral crystal. You get pretty cool distortion. Not that you don't get that with sapphire, but uh, it's just a little bit different. And then the reflectiveness of the mineral crystal, it's quite a bit less reflective than sapphire. So this doesn't have any AR coating on it, and it doesn't really need it. Um, so yeah, I think the the uh, the crystal on this thing is really nice. You can see how nice and bubbled it is there. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. You can see even at the tight angles there, you can still read the dial. Um, big fan of the crystal. I know it's not going to be for everyone. Uh, and $285, you kind of want uh, sapphire crystal, but um, I'm not too bothered by it, honestly. All right, so let's talk about the dial on this thing. So the dial is really interesting. I chose the, it's kind of a tropic dial, I guess. Uh, it kind of has this weird greenish brownish pattern on it. Really interesting. Um, they also have this in just a straight black, and then, and then you can also get it in that kind of uh, 12 and 6 o'clock subdial layout. I wasn't a huge fan of that one. Uh, if I had to do this over again, I'd probably go with uh, just a straight black. This this pattern here, it's a little too green for my liking. Uh, it has just a green hue to it. Um, it doesn't look bad, I don't think. And getting up real close, you can see it is pretty interesting. Um, so, yeah, just something to consider. Uh, I do like how it eventually turned out, and definitely under this lighting, you can really see it stand out. Uh, but outside of the, uh, the studio, uh, it's really not that noticeable. Uh, but you can see here, it's a fully printed dial printed indices all the way around very simple six o'clock date window there it does say undone down there at the six o'clock position you can get a custom text here at the 12 o'clock or the six o'clock you can change the fonts on it you can change the color on it as well um, and then obviously i chose very simple 
kind of speedy like hands uh, but you can get these in uh, polished hands you can get them gold rose gold you can get them red and blue and yellow and all sorts of colors so um, yeah just something to play around with this is what I ended up with I actually I you know at looking back at it I kind of wish I would have gone silver hands but uh, again not a huge deal I like the way that it eventually turned out um, but yeah really a cool dial everything is very legible very crisp printing as well uh, so I am very satisfied with the the outcome of the watch it's exactly what I expect it uh, and I guess it turned out exactly how I expected it to maybe just a little bit uh, on the green side of a, a, a brown I, I wanted it to be more brown than it is um, but it is what it is I think it actually looks pretty cool when it's not out in the studio here um, but yeah I think the loom on this watch is not great uh, it's about what I expected uh, it's a chronograph it's not a dive watch so I'm going to pop it up against a couple other watches in the collection similar style watches and here's how you can see it perform again it's not great it's not going to blow you away um, it's hardly usable uh, but the loom is there so yeah just don't go in expecting great loom and you'll be fine with it all right so let's talk about the movement in the crown so the movement is the seiko vk64 mega quartz obviously i have a picture here but if you didn't want that you could see the movement through the back there uh, which is pretty cool to see um but yeah it's a great movement plus or minus 20 seconds per month i think is the accuracy usually they're more accurate than that uh, everything functions as it should simple push pull crown first position here changes your date everything is centered in there nicely uh, second position this is where you set your time everything again functions as it should the alignment on this thing spot on uh, really happy with the crown on this thing really happy with the crown action on it everything feels like it should the top pusher here starts your chronograph you can see it sweeping around five times per second there really nicely done um, it got nice nice positive feedback on these pushers too snapping right back to the 12 o'clock when you press this bottom pusher here and again nice positive feedback on that um, I got zero complaints with the movement. It's it's what I expected, uh, and it functions just like I expected. These actually have a little bit better feel than I expected, so that's nice to see. Um, yeah, it's a really solid movement. These things are great. They're excellent. You got a 24-hour counter here, which is kind of useless, uh, but then you do have your chronograph minute counter here, which has got a tick mark for every minute, so uh, really easy to keep track of time up to one hour. So, um, yeah, I do like these movements. Um, it, it's not a negative in my book at all. All right, so let's talk about the strap on this thing so i opted for the brown leather rally strap you can get these in uh, normal leather straps you can get these in rally you can get them in croc you can get them in cordura um i, I can't obviously i can't comment on those other ones this strap is fantastic uh, really really nice strap you can see here it's 20 millimeters it tapers down to 18 millimeters at the clasp you got simple stitching down here simple stitching up at the lugs there really nice perforation hunt there uh, the strap is breaking in beautifully uh, it goes with a bunch of other straps as, or a bunch of other watches as well um, i've been absolutely loving the strap it's really really good really soft really flexible right out of the box it smells good it looks good you got quick release spring bars here you got one big fat floating keeper there it's a perfect length for me i'm kind of right in the middle of all these holes um, so yeah it's a great strap you got a signed buckle here brushed and polished uh, yeah it's a very nice setup and I, I i told the guys that they should make these straps available uh, to everybody um, i would love to pick up some more and uh, maybe some of those cordura straps those look really nice so yeah i, I will we'll see if they do that but uh, for the time being they don't you can't purchase these things separate but um, there are a couple watches out there where you do get extra straps so just keep that in mind as well so um, yeah really really happy with this strap though it is i think it looks really good on this watch uh, and it definitely goes with some other watches that i have in the collection too so yeah i was really happy to get this strap so there you go guys that is the undone sport speedy uh, for around 300 dollars you're getting a pretty nice watch uh, a very classic kind of 40 47 dimensions uh, mineral crystal which i know some people are going to complain about but i i can see the advantages of a mineral crystal uh, obviously i'd like a really nice sapphire crystal but sometimes if you don't get a really nice sapphire crystal it kind of ruins the look for it so uh, i'm okay with the mineral crystal uh, the customization process like i mentioned was amazing uh, really nice it took 
about, if I'm remembering right, it took about four or five days for it to be completed and printed and, and shipped out. The watch came exactly how I expected it to. No quality control issues or anything like that. Um, I think the strap is fantastic. I think the case is really unique and really nice. Um, the dials are pretty cool. The customization is obviously the big thing. Uh, you can get these in chronographs. You can get them in a couple different, actually, uh, chronographs. Um, different case chronographs as well. You can get dive watches. You can get, I believe they have field watches as well, uh, and dressy watches. So uh, I say go check out their site. If you don't like this one, go check out their site and see what else they have. They have some really cool options. Uh, Undone, they've been around for a while. Their website is great. The customization is great as well. And the people behind it seem to be really, really responsive. And uh, yeah, they, they make a nice product. Um, I don't see any reason to not purchase one of their watches. I think for the, the price you're paying and the customization options you have, you can get yourself a very unique watch for a pretty decent price. So uh, go check out their site. Uh, I'll leave that link down below. I think that's it for me, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.